What's up y'all, Marshall Lee of DuckyJawProjects.com here and today I'm going to teach you how to make a mini comic from start to finish. In this episode we're going to make a comic kind of like this. This is my friend uh, Todd Webb. He created this comic, Toddzilla. Uh, this one is you know, just something he made years ago, and it's just got eight pages, and it's pretty cool, right? I think it's pretty cool. It's got a front cover and a back. The only difference between this one is this would be the inside of the comic I'm going to make, and I'm also going to just add a, a thicker cover on to it. So yeah. So first thing when you're creating a mini comic, you know, when it's just a small little mini comic like this, you just need an idea. You want to think more like in the terms of like writing a joke or, you know, creating a comic strip, something that it could be of any subject matter, um, a day in the life, or you can get to really big ideas with this, but you know, you have to be kind of concise with it and, and really tell your story quickly. You know, anything really goes. It can be experimental, whatever, however you go with it. Next is the tools you'll use. You really don't need much. Um, you can do a lot with very little here. I have a stapler. I happen to have a long arm stapler, which is useful in this scenario, but I think, I could be wrong, but I think you can make these without, with your typical traditional stapler. Um, and then I have some uh, pencil a correction pen and something to ink with and then a piece of copy paper you can use all kinds of different materials I actually use Bristol board a sketchbook to get your ideas down and something to cut paper with you can use just scissors if you want but you can also use uh, a cutting board like I have Next is planning the actual comic book, which is basically figuring out how the pages will go in the layout. You'll be drawing on the front and the back of a piece of paper. It's actually better if you draw on separate pieces of paper and kind of set them up on the computer, um, but you can do it many different ways. So here I'm going to show you how to basically lay out your pages in a very rough manner. You can make like a mock-up like I did here, uh, but just basically as long as you follow uh, these, this kind of number setup for an eight-page comic, you'll be good. So as you can see, I'm writing front at the top. This is the front side. Top left is eight. Top right is number one. Bottom left is page six, and bottom right is page three. Flip the page over, right back on the back. Again, divide in half and in half again. Top left is two, top right is seven, bottom left is four, and bottom right is page five. Now that's basically what you need to know if you want to set up your pages um, for the one sheet of paper. Uh, but here you can also fold it up like I'm doing and kind of make a little mock-up for your own reference if you like. Now the way I've set it up here is on Bristol board. So you can see I got the front page and I have it mapped out. Page 8, page 1, page 6 page three and the same thing goes for the second the back page so this is the back this is the front and I'll put it together in the computer and then also I have the cover mapped out so up at the top we got the back and the front now as you can see in this uh, one page comic you can see on the edges, parts of it are cut off. So with most modern day printers, especially if you're using like the one you most likely have at home, uh, it never prints all the way to the edge. It always cuts it off a little bit. So you're gonna want to leave a good margin of, you know, somewhere from a half an inch to, you know, a little less than a half inch would probably be good. Next is planning the story. Now, 
you know, with the story, you want to be, you want to do some kind of writing. You know, it doesn't have to be too crazy. You know, you can put do a full script or you can just kind of do a bullet list. However you want to go about it, there's a lot of different ways to write a comic book story. But, you know, basically a lot of, you know, stories tend to have a beginning, middle, and end. You know, you want to have maybe a character that um, starts off in one place goes through some kind of little trial or whatever and then comes out on the other end a little bit changed you can do that or you can just kind of experiment and have fun um, there's so many different ways to approach it uh, you know and you might want to do thumbnails you might want to uh, you know just kind of write out a little bit of some of the dialogue however you want to do it there's so many ways uh, to approach planning the actual story that you're going to illustrate Next comes the fun part. <laughs> well, it's the part where there's a lot of hard work, but it's also kind of the fun part, which is drawing and inking your story. Um, once you've planned out your story, uh, you can draw and ink it. And I like to just use a regular pencil, and then, you know, I have a specific kind of brush pen that I tend to use a lot, which is this pigment um, fine brush but you can use all kinds of different things a lot of people use microns or you could even just use a regular ink pen that you find at you know anywhere in your house <laughs> you could do all kinds of things <laughs> finished and here it is this is the cover and the back cover the pages are all laid out you can see this is page one and page eight page three and six page two and seven page four and five this will be on one side and this will be on the other side see what I mean so you'll have one page covered on both sides. Number six, now that you've drawn and inked your piece, your comic, um, you will want to scan that into a computer and then you want to put it together and maybe clean it up a little bit. So as you can see here, I cleaned these inks up. I went in and played with the contrast and then with this cover page, I repeated the top um, art, the back and front cover, on the um, bottom part of the sheet. So it doesn't really matter how you put it, but as long as you have the um, sections numbered correctly, this is the front side, and this is the back side of the sheet. And um, all I have to do is make sure that the front and back are formatted in the computer and then printed out a two-sided page and there's your full interior of your comic and this is the cover um, you can do all kinds of things you could add color to it whatever you want to do um, but for me I just kind of cleaned it up a little bit and um, I worked with the contrast and, and did a few things just to make the lines nice and crisp number seven you just put it together literally pay for dirt for dirt for dirt for dirt for dirt so what you do here is you get out your prints that you've printed either at home or brought to a place like staple staples like I did you cut the cover right in half then the interiors and then you fold those in half staple the center and voila you got a full comic right there. Terra and the Pteridoctopus. If you're interested in grabbing one of these, you can either become a patron on Patreon, and I'll send one right to you for only a dollar, 
a month and um, you know I, I'll probably put it up for sale on my site as well When it all comes down to it, there really is a million different ways to really make a mini comic. Um, you can dip into all kinds of different experimental styles and colors and book binding. And you can work on the computer, you can work you know, traditionally, however you want to do it. Um, I'd love to see the way you guys make them. Please let me know if you make something cool and hopefully this was helpful for you. Please subscribe, like, and let me know in the comments uh, if you had any questions or if there's anything else you'd like me to talk about pertaining to mini comics and how to make them. All right, I'll talk to you in the next one, guys. Peace out.